If you're a fourth grader, nothing could be harder than seeing an inflatable floating playground about 30 feet from the shore, especially on a very hot day like this one. It's been sitting out here, tantalizingly close to the Alameda Beach shoreline for more than a week, say residents. So what's that like looking at it but not being able to go? I don't like it. Jacob Rawson told us it's the springboard feature he's got his eyes on. If someone's on it and then you jump on it, uh, the other person just goes flying. I said, like, oh, hey, what's that? Jacob's sister lives right up the street and noticed the distinctive yellow and green floaters during a walk along the shore. She told her family and generated some instant excitement. I told them I saw it last week and, and they wanted to come check it out. But alas, the grand opening doesn't happen until Saturday afternoon. City of Long Beach planning a celebration of the $400,000 inflatable project for all to enjoy. Free and open to the public, they say. A figure eight layout with a bouncer, monkey bars, a slide, and more. It caught three year old Camilla's eye. I think it's pretty tough because she sees you know, the bright colors. But her mom says everyone in the family will just have to wait. How does she know this? Well, her 17 year old tried to give it a go earlier this morning. Swam out there, and the lifeguard told him to come out. Kind of torture for him to see it. Yes. Yes. Not be able to go. To exactly. Parents of the youngest kids told us they're a little wary of letting them play on this thing. Will the lifeguards on the sand be keeping an eye on it? How quickly can they respond if someone slips over the side and disappears? For that matter, how deep is the water out there? These are all questions they and we had for the city, but so far they haven't returned our calls with the answers. In Long Beach, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.